In January of this year, I participated in an interview with um, uh, Ken McAuliffe uh, of his Jazz Audiophile channel, and here's a link to the interview. And participating in it with me was uh, Rich Capeless of Deep Groove Mono and Takashi Inohara of um, uh, Japan Loves Jazz. And um, we had a great time doing this interview. Um, Takashi um, has a, uh, Takashi auctions off uh, rare jazz records on his site, and he makes educational videos about um, Japanese jazz pressings. And um, uh, Rich um, has, uh, is, a, is a friend uh, to uh, the Rudy Van Gelder studio, and has written extensively about that studio. He's a collector. Uh, he's an educator through his, uh, through his YouTube channel, and uh, he also sells records on his site. And uh, these two guys are good friends of mine. We like each other. We work really well together. He and Takashi have got some, some great chemistry, which leads me to this video. They met for the first time. We all met for the first time. And we met at 4 o'clock at uh, Disc Union Jazz in Shibuya. And uh, they did some digging there. It wasn't that fruitful. We went on to uh, Tower Records Shibuya. They did some digging there. It wasn't that fruitful. Did not photograph at either store. Um, for, for various reasons, but I did photograph at um, um, Shibuya HMV, and that was a very good photo session, and we went on to uh, Shinjuku, to um, uh, HMV Records in Shinjuku, and later to Tower, later to uh, Disc Union. Uh, they had to leave, they left at around um, 7.30, I believe, so we, had, we were together intensely for three hours, no food, just mm -hmm. digging. And uh, we just had a great time. Uh, there was a lot of teaching. There was a lot of sharing ideas and sharing of stories. And it was just great. I mean, you're going to see it. The chemistry is, is really good. Oh, this is cool. That is really cool. I never seen it. Wow, they want 6,600 yen for that. Wow. That is really cool, though. Sweden. <laughs> I'm tempted to buy that. What you buy? It's beautiful. Yeah. What you buy that thing? It's beautiful. Wow. That's great. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> There's some decent stuff over here, maybe. Mm. Have you ever been to America? Yeah, but no, no record digging. Just a uh, <laughs> usual tour, yeah. Do you know this series? No. These series are good. Merlin? Yeah. What? Ooh. Very, very minor. Not many people don't uh, know about it, but you know. What kind of jazz is it? Just, you know, classic. And this is a piano for you, by the way. Is this, is this guy American or Japanese? Yeah, American. He almost looks like he might be Japanese. Mm. Amazing. This, oh, there's vocal on this, huh? Mm. And they, well, this sounds like so they took a different language. It was originally what French or something? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, bar club. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. Mm. I'll keep an eye out for that. Yeah, but you know, on the market, you know, they're very cheap. Mm. They're very cheap. Yeah. The classic records reissues, they're very nice. The, la the labels are really beautiful. I'm sure you noticed that. Yeah, yeah. The labels are beautiful. They, they, they look exactly like the originals. They're so the deep group as well. Yeah. The deep group looks so real mm. on those. Better than the, um, better than the, the disc union. Mm. I realized I got lucky when I came here during COVID. I got lucky, very lucky. Yeah. Tokyo, I'm sure you've got to be fast here. You know, I'm sure you've got to be fast here. But I think in Osaka it's much better. <laughs> yeah, well, Osaka was great. I thought Osaka was great. Mm -hmm. I love Maru Kabatsu. That was great. They're really nice there. It's a husband and wife. Are you familiar with them? No. Oh, okay. 
I got two really rare OJCs. They don't, the, the catalog number is not OJC, but they are fantasy. Um, Tad Jones Oleo on Prestige. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Ray Draper Tuba Sounds. I got those at Mato Kanatsu. Mm. Those are really rare. I got those both. That was good. Is that a fantasy custom LP collection series? Maybe? I guess so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People don't get me, I don't think. I think I'm actually. I've always assumed that I'm more like a Japanese collector, and I think that's why a lot of American collectors don't understand me. I'm very minimalist. I'm very into minimalism. You know, I've been collecting for like, pretty seriously for like 12 years, and I have like two IKEA collapse cubes full of like vintage presses. You know, like I just very, very, very selective. But I'm getting less selective. I'm actually getting to be a little bit more relaxed about keeping stuff and not being so picky about condition. I've kind of come around on that a little bit. RVG. Beach. Oh, try that. Yeah, that cover's got a little humidity staining otherwise. Ah, maybe I should get that. Ah, that's a good deal. I'm gonna let that go. That looks good. That's tough. I don't like that stain. Oh, here you go. <laughs> the original? Yeah, look at that price. What do you think? <laughs> I would I would get a Japanese reissue of that if I found it. I love the cover. I love that the colors. The album art. Oh look yeah. at that. That's cool. Oh, uh, I'm gonna have to buy this. And I have to seriously think about getting one really special record. Mm. Uh, that looks pretty good. Oh man, this is, yeah, this is an original. This might be the one I have to get. Uh, that's very tempting. Oh, I wish I could get that. Look at that. <laughs> Ah, wait, 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 so <laughs> cover up two zeros and then do 65%. So that's like a thousand two hundred. That's fair. That's fair. Mm. These prices are actually pretty fair. Let me actually do the full math here. This is only 425 based on my, my, uh, my conversion. In, in US yeah, it's only four hundred twenty-five dollars. Oh yeah. Wow, that's good. I might have to buy this, um, but I would have to. I'd probably want to come back when we're all done before I go back to Shinagawa. I don't think I can do it right now. What do you think about that? I have to think about it. I'll be so happy to know that I didn't find any records. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. That's cool. That's pretty cool. That looks, that looks <laughs> nice. Uh, what's that? UA, right? Uh, UA, okay. Yeah. Mm. UA more. Uh, with the OB, not the sticker. You know, they, they use they use OB sometimes, but they use sticker too. Where's the condition? Oh, B. They're saying yeah. B. Liberty. Liberty Van Gelder. Wow. You know anything about this copper sheet? Barry Harris? Is this Barry Harris? Enja? I oh, know, Do you know Enya. anything about that? I better take a picture of that from my wife. She might know about that. No, I don't know. Sorry. Yeah, I keep asking her yeah. about Enja. I figure she knows more about Enja than me, but... Uh, oh, that, that lady is from... Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
take a picture of this, see if she's... 70s, I think? Mainly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, jeez. They want this. Mono. Look at that. That's pretty. Wow. That is pretty. There's a little bit of something old tape. Just some tape down there. That's still really nice. That's very nice. Rich, do you know this album? I'm not super familiar with it, but oh, really? I've seen it uh, many times. Is that a favorite of yours? Yeah, I, I love it. Yeah. Sorry, 6.30. You know the drill. I'm Michael, Ricefield Records. Please like and subscribe. Give me your comments right in the comment section. I love your comments. I'll write you back. And that's it. I hope you like this video. Thank you.